John Hill and his family are living in a motel after their Ipswich home flooded a month ago. We've lost everything out of our house. Um, it all ended up on the street. They'll be out of their house for weeks and need help now. The inconsistency with the help that's out there, I think, is the, is the biggest thing. The state government says it's calls for Canberra to pay for half of a $770 million disaster package remain unanswered. Queensland has been dudded, denied and done over. They shouldn't have to wait for the PM's campaign itinerary to know if they can raise their home above flood level. But cheaper fuel and one-off payments will help some. Anything's better than this at the moment, really. $250 is better than nothing. Well, I don't think it's enough. Um, everything is growing but wages. Yeah, I think he's just doing this so he can win. Like The election's coming, so like you do anything to win. Beck Tedder moved to Jimboomba from Victoria, chasing warmer weather and cheaper housing. Queensland was just always a, a dream for us and for it to become reality was just an added bonus. The budget estimates about 130,000 interstate residents will move to Queensland by 2026. It fails to provide the money that will help provide the services for the Queenslanders of today and the many more Queenslanders of tomorrow. There's money to get more doctors and nurses in the bush, but regional cities like Gladstone miss out. I only see short-term solutions and it doesn't fit for every um, place in Australia. $21 million that our Queensland public hospitals got this year, they won't get next year. But that reduction is due to a cut in COVID-19 funding, not hospitals. Any reduction from Canberra disappoints me immensely, but my fight remains with getting the state government to understand that ultimately the buck stops with them. The key projects in the budget include $1.6 billion for the Brisbane to Sunshine Coast rail extension, $1.1 billion for upgrades to the Gold Coast line and $5.4 billion to build the Hells Gate Dam in North Queensland. So it's a good start, it's good that they've appropriated the money, but these things have got to be followed through and it's got to be more than an announcement at budget time. Louisa Rebgetz, ABC News.